In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a custom WordPress menu, add custom fields to that WordPress menu, like an icon field and a color field, then take a widget inside of Elementor and populate it with the menu items from your WordPress menu. Without no more further ado, let's jump in and get started. In the tutorial today, I'm going to show you how to take a widget from the Unlimited Elements widget library and populate it with a WordPress menu, data from a WordPress menu. So to jump in, I'm just going to select one of the widgets, and this works with any item-based widget, but the example today is going to be on the circle menu widget, which is just a really awesome layout of links in a circle layout. And right now, these links are coming from the items over here and you can add items, duplicate, delete and stuff like that. But we don't want the items to come from there. What we want is the items to come from a WordPress menu. So to do that, we're going to go to source and inside of source, you can see there are all sorts of item sources over here, dynamic source types. I'm just going to choose menu. And now this widget is going to populate the data from a menu inside of my WordPress website. Now, if I go to items menu query over here, I can select which menu I want to take from. So for example, if I'll change the menu over here to e-commerce menu, you can see that now the data over here is different. And of course you can play around with the depths and decide how many depths you want this to show, if you want to show the sub menus or the sub sub menus. So that's how we populate it. Over here inside of the source, you need to start choosing how to populate each part of data over here. So for example, in link source, what we're going to choose is URL. And now you will see that when I hover over and these items, I'm getting different links down here. So that means that the link is working now. And that's about the basic part. Now we're going to take this one step further. We're going to create a custom menu inside of our WordPress dashboard and then add some custom fields to that menu so we can populate those with data. For example, the regular WordPress menu doesn't have a place for text or for an icon or maybe even a background color for each menu item over here. So to get started, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my WordPress menus, which are under appearance menus, and I'm going to create a custom menu over here. So to create a new menu, I'm going to click over here, create a new menu. And I'm going to give that menu a name. So it's going to be custom menu. I'm going to click over here, create menu. And in my case, I'm going to populate it with just custom links. So to add custom links, what we could do is we could choose over here, custom links. And in the URL, I'm just going to put a hashtag right now. And I'm going to put my social media accounts over here. So I'm just going to click add and it's added over here. Let's add about three or five of these. So that's the one for Facebook, Twitter. And you know what? To keep it simple, let's go for three of these. So right now we have the menu. Of course, you can add the links to the different social accounts. Let's say my Instagram is UE, let's search for it over here. This is my Instagram account, unlimited elements. Here is the URL, I'm just gonna copy that and paste it over here, just so you guys get the point of how this works. And that's the basic part, right? So we created a widget, we've created a menu. Now I'm gonna save this 
and I'm going to save over here as well now I'm going to refresh the page after I've saved this and I will be able to select the new menu that I've just created as a source type inside of here so let's go into item menu query and select the custom menu now you will see that there are three of these icons over here let's start styling this a little bit just so it won't look that bad perfect so this is awesome whatever is going on over here over here inside of the menu there's a couple of cool features you can turn on animation you can determine the animation type if you want to make it slower you can see that it stops whenever you hover over here and you can turn on or off different parts so for example if I don't want to show the icon or don't want to show the tooltip I don't have to show those so and also if I want to make the links a little bit bigger I can go over here change the size so the text will fit in better so this is starting to look pretty cool now the next part is kind of an advanced part what I'm going to do is I'm going to start creating custom fields and then I'll start connecting the custom fields over here inside of content so the custom fields I'm going to create are going to be for icon and color so to do that I'm using ACF which is the most popular custom fields plugin over here I'm going to add a new field group and I'm going to call that field group custom menu and I'm going to add two fields over here let's save that going to the first field and the first field is going to be for an uh, icon so for the icon field I'm just going to use a text and I need to give it a label so I'm going to call it icon and this is going to be the field name that we're going to use later on so just going to take the same text from here and let's add another field this time I'm going to choose a color picker and over here I'm going to give it the name color click tab on the keyboard and it's populated the field name over here you can add a default value if you want you can change the return format I'm not going to touch those and I'm going to click save another thing that we need to do is add a rule over here for wherever these fields are going to show so the place I want these to show um, is actually not in a post type it's going to be in a menu item not inside of a menu but inside of a menu item so over here I add a menu item is equal to and we can select the specific menu if you don't want to add it to all your menus so you could add a specific menu so let's save that and let's jump in back to the menu and see how that looks like so over here you can see these are our three fields if we open them up now we have two more fields over here the first one is for an icon and the second one is for color now I'm going to show you two tricks one is for the icon and the second is for the color so we'll start with the icon now Elementor uses font awesome for its uh, icons so I need to go to the font awesome uh, website and I'm going to search over here for Instagram for the Instagram icon now the thing is that Elementor still didn't move to 6.4 inside of the font awesome library we need to roll back over here to 5.15 and we're going to click on the icon once we've clicked on the icon now we have the class name this is what we need so I'm just gonna click on it once and it's copied to the clipboard now I'm gonna go into the menu and paste that in take in mind we only need this part so we don't need all the wrapping HTML you're just going to need what's inside of the class let's quickly add uh, two more one for Facebook and one for Twitter you're going to want to make sure that you're still on 5.5 .5. let's go for this icon copy it and I'm going to paste it over here 
awesome and let's do the last one that's Twitter so we can close this Twitter let's get this one copy it from here and let's put it in okay so I think we're all set up with the icons the next thing is going to be a color so for the color what I'm going to do is I'm going to a website that's called brand colors and over here this is just a quick way of getting some of these social icons so I'm just gonna type in Facebook copy the hex code and I'm going to jump back in over here and I'm just gonna put that inside of the value over here so that's our Facebook color let's do the same thing for Instagram Instagram has a lot of brand colors but let's go for this one which makes sense to me paste that in we're good to go let's do the last one for Twitter copy the hex code color and paste that in okay so we're all set I'm gonna save it over here and now our challenge is going to be to populate these fields the new fields that we've added and use them over here so I'm just gonna click update and let's what we're going to do let's refresh this just to make sure that we're bringing in the new meta fields the ACF meta fields and what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn back the icon since we want the icon to show. So let's go into general, show the icon. And now we want to populate this default icon with the icon that we've added in the meta fields. So over here in icon source, I'm going to choose menu meta field, and I'm going to put the name that I put inside of ACF and the name was icon. I was keeping it simple, right? This could have been a more comp complicated name. And now you can see that the icons are showing over here and they're all populated from our WordPress menu. Let's do a little another manipulation and inside of color, I'm going to choose a menu meta field and I'm just gonna type over here color. And now the color is being populated from the meta field that we've just inputted inside of our WordPress menu. How cool is that? So that was just a quick lesson. And in general, you can use this technique on any of the widgets inside of Unlimited Elements widget library and add as many fields as you want inside uh, of the uh, menu items and use them over here inside as source dynamic source types so thank you for joining if you have any questions you can post them in the comments and we'll be happy to answer see you next time